everybody. So we're back on the shop with another daily vlog and today we're talking about EDC stuff. So I've had a lot of people ask me about my EDC bag and what do I keep in it kind of and why. So what do I keep in it and why do I keep that stuff in there? Now with this video I'm going to talk about this plus I'm going to have y'all do part of it as well. So now I'm going to talk about what's in the bag here and then I'm gonna talk about what's gonna be going into my new EDC setup. So quick overview of what's in the bag and what I keep with me on a daily basis. So I'll kind of get this stuff brought over here. So when it comes to everything that I keep with me on a daily basis. So we're gonna put the bag aside just for a second. One of the things that I keep with me, of course, one of my EDC knives. I keep this one right here that I made for myself absolutely love this knife this is the one that i redesigned off of the ontario rat 3 so i have absolutely loved using this it has been a perfect edc for me and i carry it all the time but i'm not carrying this i'm actually carrying the uh edc scalpel that i make so nice little clip super minimalist sheath this does hang down you pull it so you have it right here pull down Boom, you got yourself a little cutting edge, a little tool, and this thing stays razor sharp. So love this. I get tons of compliments on that. And uh, I love the way that it mounts on me. It's just perfect little knife, but keep that on me whenever I don't have this one on me. Those are the two EDC knives that I carry. And then of course, my firearm right there, Walther PPS M2, the absolute amazing gun I, I keep this on me all the time it is a great firearm it's super comfortable with that magazine extension that actually is built into the grip there you get a full three finger perch on the uh, grip itself everything is super comfortable and this has very little recoil partially because it's a nine millimeter but love it uh i don't keep typically keep it in this particular holster right here i normally have an appendix holster that houses this plus an extra magazine right here but for the idea of why i'm you know the stuff that's going to be happening with the new edc bag this holster is going to be uh, made clear whenever i actually hit on that but we have that plus stream light uh, a lot of people have a bunch of different flashlights i like this particular one as a deep carry a uh, little clip on it really like this setup it's a triple a battery it's not one of the ones that has the little watch batteries so it will last a pretty long time so got that uh, little tactical pin this is nothing super fancy guard dog security it's you know just your typical uh academy sports brand but has a very good pin on it i really really like it uh you could write in all kinds of different weather and it's got the glass breaker on the end there plus you can use it for defense if you need to boom love that like that it's got a little clip on it so if you want to put it in your pocket you can real simple boom love this uh keep that on me i always have one of these little tools here this is the gerber dime uh it is a pretty small little tool little multi-tool it's got a little pair of scissors on it, flat head, knife, things like that. Great little guy to have. Now, when it comes to the bag, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna try and go through this pretty quick so that I can talk about what's gonna be happening over here. But what would typically be going on back in the back section would be where I would keep my firearm. This goes inside here, zips up. So that's typically what the back section's for. It does have even more of a back pocket right here uh, with some more Velcro in there. Now, you can take this strap and fold it up and put it inside the back piece right here, clip it, and then hang it by this if you need to. So we do have that. It is a pretty large bag for being this small. Hall small it is you know the reason why i'm going to be messing with this one that's in here is because this is a pretty bulky bag this is not something that you would just keep on you on a daily basis when you're just going to walmart and stuff like that 
This is something that if you need to carry a bunch of stuff with you out of your car because something happened to your vehicle or you need to get from point A to point B and you're having to hoof it, this is nice because you can put a lot of stuff in here for how small it is. But this is not something that I would take into Walmart. This setup is. But let's talk about what's in the bag. What's in the bag? All right. Now, let's go ahead. We'll start from the bottom and work up. So very bottom pocket that's on, the, of course, the bottom of this bag. We're going to have a few things like a lighter. Just a real simple big lighter. Pretty much lights all the time. I make sure that they're full lighters. Have that in there. Backup pin. Good quality zebra pin. If you're going to have a pin, you need to make sure it's a good quality pin that can last a long time. And then a Sharpie. Just very simple Sharpie. Just in case you need to write something on your hand or write something on something that needs to be permanent. So you have that. Now, front pocket. This is going to be just a couple of things. For one, we're going to have a couple of charging cables. Uh, USB type C, regular USB. We've got those because there's things that we need to charge. We have both of them. Uh, I don't use uh, Apple products, so I don't have the the you know iPhone setup for that charging cable, the lightning cable they come with. Don't need it, so don't have it. Uh, little pouch here. We're gonna have just a little cheap knife that's actually very comfortable. So just a very simple knife for cutting simple things. It doesn't have to be insane quality. It doesn't have to be some spider co or something like that. It's a stainless steel knife and it works. Uh, what I really like about this is the larger multi-tool. Because of the G10 uh, handles on it, it's actually very comfortable to hold and you can really crank down on things. Uh, most of the tools like this are the skeletal types that are very uncomfortable to hold. Whenever you really got to grip down on something, it has a lot of hot spots and it is not comfortable. I mean, they're just meant to be, of course, lighter weight, but this is perfectly fine weight wise for something that's going to be staying in a bag. Now, let's finish this out. So we have that. I'll just go ahead and leave that out here. So another pocket up. We're going to have a few different things. We're going to have tissue paper. This is perfect for wiping your butt, for tinder, for fires, for stopping bleeds, all those things. And these are super cheap. You can get them in the big packages. Amazing thing to have. Always keep one on me. Something to write on. This right here is paper that can get wet as much as you want. It is a all weather universal little notepad. Amazing to have. They're super cheap. You can get them from pretty much anywhere. Tinder. This is uh, dryer lint. So from whenever we do our towels and things like that, uh, I've got a few of these. They're really easy just to toss in the bag. You can take and take a little section of this and you could fan that out a lot and get a lot of tinder out of just little sections of this and it presses down real tight there is a ton of tinder in here and this stuff goes up in flames real easy so amazing to have not a lot of people think about this everybody wants to get some fat wood or gets all, all, all these different things when you could do something as simple as a little bitty container of dryer lint. And imagine you put this in a Ziploc bag, you can really, really compress it down and fit it pretty much anywhere and always have tinder that is dry. Now, one of the other things, all weather matches. Just in case my lighter goes out or it's super windy or it's super wet outside, you can use these all weather matches. There's about eight of them in there with a little bit of tinder, an extra striker pad, and that's waterproof. So got that in there. Uh, those are super cheap. You can get them from Walmart Academy pretty much anywhere a uh, little bitty roll of duct tape They sell these do not buy them uh, If you're gonna do anything you just need to go buy a whole entire roll of duct tape and make about 10 of these off that one roll of duct tape Do not go out and spend the money on little bitty rolls like this just because they're already rolled up Make your own It's the easiest thing ever have this because dude duct tape has unlimited uses. <laughs> you know what they say, if you can't duck it, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, so we got that. 
Now let's go up into the top pouch. And by the way, this bag is Optics Planet bag. It's the OpMod uh, version of it. Uh, I have put this through all kinds of things and it has lasted. So uh, I know that for one thing, you can't even get them really right now. They're sold out of pretty much everything like this. Uh, now, top po uh, pouch on there, we're gonna have some paracord and a little bracelet set up. Uh, I really like this. If I'm going to need to use it, I can just take it out, put it on my wrist, go to wherever I need to get, go and use it. Plus there's going to be, all the threads are still in there. So you do have extra tender, you do have extra cordage, everything right there. Bandages, clotting stuff, uh, things to clean wounds, all that in this little Ziploc bag. I don't have some fancy first aid kit in here. I've got the things that are necessary for what I'm going to be using. Uh, I do have a little tourniquet that is actually out in my car right now. Uh, that is typically just in my glove box. If I'm gonna get out, uh, it's gonna go into the bag. So, but I didn't put it in here for the sake of this video. I should have, but I didn't. Uh, some little uh, flossers for your teeth. It's good to have good hygiene. A pair of scissors, just in case I need to cut away some clothes or something like that, uh, or I need to cut bandages, or I need to cut pretty much anything. These are super sharp and I really like them. They're very sturdy. Now, let's go into the main large pouch. For one, uh, I've got a couple of different uh, battery setups for uh, charging phones. This right here is an awesome little thing by Nebo. Uh, this is a knife and you can unscrew this take this off and attach it to something else if you needed some sort of spear or something like that or to extend the range you can take the blade straight off of here and like i said attach it to something else uh, but we have that it is a very very bright flashlight very and uh we've got that it is rechargeable plus it's a battery bank so you can charge your phone with this or pretty much anything that uses a USB charger with that. Absolutely awesome. Very amazing tool to be able to have all of these different things wrapped up in one package. But I keep that just in these little straps right here. So that stays with me. I keep it charged. Make sure it's good there. Now, one of the other pouches. Now in this pouch, I'll typically have things like beef jerky or some snack stuff that uh, will last a really long time. I'll have that in here. Uh, but for right now, we've got our zip, lock, or our zip ties. These are absolutely a valuable thing to have with you. Uh, you can take these and one of the other things in here and create shelter if you need to. But zip ties, don't sleep on that. Don't underestimate the power of a zip tie. One of the other pouches, we've got foot warmer, hand warmer. There's nothing like having cold hands and cold feet. Uh, now for the summer right now, it's not necessary to really have this. I don't plan on holding them in this particular bag that I have right here, but for the cooler or the cooler days, these are amazing. Think about getting you some of those. You can get those from Walmart Academy, pretty much anywhere. Uh, backup set of glasses. I wear glasses. If I don't have these on, I can't see hardly anything. <laughs> So it's good to have a backup set because if you're in a scenario where you get into a car wreck or something like that and you're in the middle of nowhere and your glasses fly off your head uh, and you can't find them, having a backup pair to be able to put on to maybe find your glasses or just have them until you're done being in the situation that you're in, make sure that you can see because your eyesight is massive when it comes to survivability. So a backup pair of glasses. Couple of ponchos. These are just emergency ponchos. I have two of them because, of course, I typically have more than just me in the car. So it is nice to have another one. Keeping yourself dry, keeping yourself warm is huge for morale and it's huge for keeping your just your spirits up and keeping you from uh, having to worry about being drenched and soaked uh, if that's the case and it's super rainy. Having those, plus take those, the zip ties, make yourself a shelter, real simple. Uh, then we're going to have... Another battery bank right here. So this will charge my phone three times. Really like this. Now I am gonna be going to a different one that is in this box. I'll be talking about that at a later time. I wanna actually try it out a little bit, make sure that it does exactly what it says it does. 
I've used this a ton. I know that this works, but that right there, got to have that. Then, of course, I always keep an extra a uh, little bit of ammo. Uh, this is 150 rounds. You never know when you're going to need it. And it's better to have ammo than not have ammo uh, because this is a low round magazine. And even though this is an extended magazine, it's still a low round, uh, low round count. Now, that is everything that is in this bag. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, could there be more things? Yeah, probably. Does there need to be more things? No, not that I think of, but I want to know what y'all think. I want to know uh, what y'all have in y'all's EDC bags, you know, things that y'all think are necessary to have in a bag for things like redundancy, or maybe you think that other people have in their bags that's not necessary, that they could take out of it, or what is the thing in your bag that you keep in there, even though you know that you could probably live without it, you know, what's the thing that you have in the bag that you will probably get rid of, but you just have had it in there the whole entire time and don't plan on taking it out. So tell me what that is. Now, when it comes to what I'm going to be going to, so I have all of that stuff in this bag. I'm going to be going to this one right here. So this is the MTAC. Uh, this is just a real simple little sling bag. And I plan on going to this one because you remember, how bulky that other one was this one this slim and I like that it comes across the shoulder this way for a few reasons for one where your gun goes is in this pouch right here and it does come with a velcro uh, little holster here but this does not fit my firearm well it, uh, it fit a Glock 43 probably perfectly but on a Walther this is wide and extended. It does have a little area for you to choke up on it right here, a little finger notch, but this whole entire area is quite a bit bigger than a Glock 43. So it doesn't fit in this very well. So not gonna be using that. I'm going to be modifying this holster right here to fit in here and be stationary. So I'm gonna be doing some eyelets things like that, some hardware, and make it to where this holster is permanently attached inside here. It'll be really easy to draw, real easy to reholster. So, and I like the cross body, get out into engagement, go back, I really like that. So that is gonna be inside there. And I wanna be able to keep this with me on a daily basis for times whenever uh, I'm wearing my uh, work uniform if you want to call it that uh, work attire and I have my shirt tucked in even though I live in an open carry state I'm a firm believer of conceal 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 keep everything hidden until it needs to not be hidden you know I'm not going to open carry things because I don't want to become a target I'd rather be hidden until it's necessary uh, so I want to be able to have it in here and it be really non-threatening to people you know, I'd actually probably look a little weird carrying this because people, you know, you have to be manly. You can't have a sling bag or something like that. Uh, but honestly, don't give a damn because I'm going to do what I do, no matter what anybody says. <laughs> uh, but we're going to have this. Now, the stuff that is going to go into here is, of course, not everything that went into here. Uh, for fire starting material and stuff like that, I'm going to have a real simple setup uh, with a lighter a little bit of lint and a really small uh, little package. And then I'm gonna have things like these guys right here. I'm gonna make a probably a little uh, sheath type deal that houses all of these all together inside here so I can easily pull one out and go back in uh, and keep them all separated a little bit. Probably gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna create a little area for this magazine. I've got a little uh, holster for this to where it could pop in pop out probably have a little area for that in here uh, I will have my wireless headphones those will go in there uh, I am going to be making an EDC knife that is literally just meant for this bag so I will have that it's gonna go with this It's gonna stay in here it's not gonna go anywhere else so that knife is gonna be made specifically for my little EDC bag uh, I will have again flashlight set up pin set up I will have a 
little notepad in here, things like that. Uh, I will have all of the things that I think are necessary. Uh, you know, this little tool, I might even do a little bit larger version of this tool to go in here because I'll have room for it. Plus we'll have the new battery bank. We're gonna have that inside here. Uh, this has twice the power of the one that I had in this bag. So I'm gonna be trying that out. That's gonna go in here. I am gonna have an extra pair of glasses in here. Uh, just the slimmest version of glasses that I can get. That'll probably go in here. Might not be necessary, but it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna see how I like that with the extra glasses. If it's too bulky, I probably won't keep them with me. I don't know just yet. But I'm gonna have those things inside here. I will have a day where I put this all together and I show y'all the stuff that goes in here. Uh, I am gonna be excited about the patch that I'm gonna have made for the TRE, you know, air, just logo on here. Uh, but guys, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a, a video just on this setup for this, but I really wanted to go into what I have in this bag because a lot of people have been asking me about it and uh, hopefully that, you know, clears some of that up. And then we will go into this bag right here. Everything that I keep in it, what I'll probably do is I'll use it, at, I'll do an EDC rotation for, let's just say, we'll do three weeks, maybe a month. And I will tell you everything I like about this bag, everything I don't like about this bag, what setup I have got accustomed to for that up to a month on there. So we'll have that video come out. But I'm also gonna have a video about this battery bank, uh, whether I think it's worth it or not, just a little review because it was actually one of Amazon's top rated uh, battery banks and it had good ratings on Google. So I'm gonna put it through its ringer and tell you all about it. Now, that's pretty much the end of this one. Uh, I do wanna reiterate that we are very close to the 10,000 subscriber uh, count. We might actually be there whenever this video releases. And again, I want y'all to uh, give me some insight into what y'all have in y'all's EDC rotations and uh, what y'all would suggest for me to put in the giveaway bag. Guys, thank y'all for coming by. If y'all would, subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share this video or a video I've done in the past that might be your favorite. And guys, thank y'all for coming by. Thank y'all for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.